To cook or to be cooked? That is the question. If you're panicking because the APES exam is less than a week away and you think that you're cooked, I've got some good news for you. First piece of good news is that I'll be doing two live stream review sessions right here on YouTube. Just click over to the live tab on my channel homepage and then click the notify me button so you don't miss them. And I'll also be doing a live stream last minute Q&A session just for students who purchase the ultimate review packet. If you have the ultimate review packet, you'll find the link for that live review session right at the top of the URP over on the left hand side. Now onto the even better news. If you follow the four steps in this video, you can maximize your chances of passing the APES exam even if you only have a few days left to review. First, First, make sure to click that link in the video description and sign up for a free trial of the ultimate review packet where you can grab a copy of this one week study plan. This plan is broken down into four easy steps and is specifically designed to help you maximize your chances of passing the exam in just a few days. Step one is to watch this quick three minute video breaking down how you can maximize the amount of points that you earn on the FRQ section of the exam. Then you'll need to practice writing three full FRQs in 70 minutes since that's what you'll need to do on that exam in May. And once you've written those FRQs, you can either score them yourself using the scoring guide on AP Classroom or ask your teacher to score them for you. Step two is to identify which of those three FRQ types is your lowest and then keep working on it until you can turn it into one of your strengths. As a quick recap, FRQ number one will be an experimental design question. FRQ number two will have a graph or some sort of figure along with a proposed solution section. And FRQ number three will be the math-based FRQ with three calculations that you'll need to do. And if FRQ number three is your lowest, it's probably because of the math. In which case, you'll wanna watch this video which breaks down exactly exactly how to do all of the types of math questions that you might see on FRQ number three. Make sure you also check out the math review packet that goes along with this video, which you can access with your free trial of the ultimate review packet. Once you've identified which of the three FRQ types is your weakest, make sure to watch the deep dive video that I have linked in this study plan so that you can take notes on which specific aspects of that FRQ you struggle with. And then step number three is to write another FRQ for this specific type of FRQ that you struggle with. If you're still struggling with this specific FRQ type after a second practice, practice attempt, go to your teacher and see if they can help you spot some of the mistakes you're making and improve this type of FRQ. And the reason that these first three steps focus on your FRQ writing is it's the easiest way to quickly improve your chances of passing the exam in just a few days. But you can also quickly improve your chances of doing well in the MCQ portion of the exam if you study the units that are most likely to show up on the exam. And that's why step four is to review units nine and six. Together, they make up 25 to 35% of the exam and they also include information that's relevant to other units. Now, the quickest way to review units nine and six is to get the ultimate review packet so you can watch the 30 minute unit summary videos and practice recalling the information with the study guides. This also gets you access to the unit summary videos, study guides, answer keys, practice quizzes, and practice FRQs for all nine units. And if you're down to a little over a week to review, the ultimate review packet is definitely the fastest way to get through all nine units. But if you don't wanna pay for review materials, there are tons of free resources to review unit nine and six, right here on my channel. You can check out the playlist for both of those units linked in the video description below, and then try writing the practice FRQs at the end of each topic video, or you can use the AP Daily videos to review all of the topics in each of these units. And you can also review the key terms in each of these units with the Quizlet sets that you can find in my link tree. However you choose to review the content in units nine and six, just make sure that you're doing some active recall. In other words, stop after reviewing each topic within these units and practice some sort of multiple choice, free response question, or even just a brain dump quiz where you write down everything that you can remember about what you just reviewed. If you make it all the way through reviewing units nine and six, and you wanna review a little bit more, I would recommend unit five, as it's also 10 to 15% of the exam, and also shows up a lot on FRQs in the form of agricultural and land use questions. All right, eight scholars, that about does it for my advice on how to pass the APES exam in under a week. Remember to grab your copy of this one week study plan in the ultimate review packet, and then get to practicing those FRQs. Now, if you wanna review the math that you'll need to be able to do on FRQ number three, you can click on that video right here. And if you wanna start reviewing for unit one using the unit summary video from the ultimate review packet, you can check out that video right here. Here. But whatever you do next, always remember to think like a mountain and write like a scholar.